Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4 Part 14. And we're going to do the Spider and Roadster event in this segment. And I'm going to be getting back in my... This Miata right here. I was thinking about the other one, but the other one's probably going to be too little a spec points because of all the weight reduction and irreversible changes I made to it. So this Miata will do for now, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of upgrading to it. Uh, let's see what they have here. Oh, I already have it, whatever it is. I think that brought it up to like 150 horsepower. I'm going to buy the supercharger. Because fuck it. It'll probably be good enough. Alright, there we go. Gonna head over to the beginner events. Spider and Roadster. Three single races, convertibles only. Blah, blah, blah. 3k points per race. So this should be a pretty short segment. Alright, well, uh, yeah. Several fails in a row. Mainly due to me losing control of the car. And I kind of don't want to drop a lot of money on just tires because of the car spinning out. And plus I'll drop the A-spec points quite a bit. And I was getting like around 180 or something. So I'm going to have to find something else to upgrade. Uh, definitely not doing this. I'm just curious. You know what? Yeah, I'll rock the... I'll get some more NOS. That always seems to help a little bit. And what else can I do to this thing without making the ace deck points go crazy? I'll get a sports suspension, why not? It's cheap enough. And weight reduction will affect it quite a bit, so. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just go with this for now. So, uh, gonna head back to Motegi and give this another try. Alright, so here's attempt number three. That Opal Speedster is gone. So, uh, even more A spec points. Either the Elise or the MR2 is going to be the problem car here. I didn't even know you could enter this with, uh, with an MR2. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Considering I have the NOS, I forgot to tune the NOS as well, so that's cool. I guess I'll just constantly use it. It'll last longer at least, so I can use it on... Pretty much every... Oh, no. That is way too late. Thought I was going to go in the gravel there, but I was good. Back on the NOS. Even if it's just for a tad. I'm going to wait to get back on it until I get the car straightened out. There we go. That lead car is gone quite far ahead and that's the lotus too i think the lotus is gonna be an even pro even bigger problem fuck speak right damn it get past this mg thing and that lotus is just way too fast Trying to use every bit of this NOS that I can. 3.2 seconds behind right now. Back on the NOS. And NOS again. Use about half of it this whole lap, so... I don't think it's going to be enough, however. I guess we'll find out. Uh, okay, I caught way too early. Uh, don't go on the gravel. 
Oh my god, I actually managed to keep it on the road. Kind of always fuck up right there. So 2.3 behind. Trying to squeeze out every ounce of time that I can. Slowly but surely catching up. I could totally pass him if I just cut through the whole field right there. Why did I downshift? That's probably going to cost me. I might actually have a shot at this. Come on. I have to, like, make a move right here. It's my last shot. Oh, my God. Yep, I could just do that, too. I guess that works. Kind of a little cheat. But I kind of also didn't want to do this race again for the fourth time. So, 91 A-spec points, barely. With a hint of cheat. Going to collect my 3,000 credits and move on to race number two. Race number two is going to be at Trial Mountain for two laps. Trial Mountain reverse. We do have an Opal Speedster in here, but it's probably not going to be as big of a bitch as the, uh, the other thing. Uh-oh. For a second there, it felt like the emulator did not like this track for some reason. A little bit of wheel spin off the start. Get on the nuts so I can get in front of the field quickly, but that's clearly not going to happen. Lots of steering wheel noise. There's probably going to be a lot of steering wheel noise on this track just because of like how rough it is. Yeah, but as long as I could get... These fuckers never give me any room, I swear. Just get to the lead early on and not fuck up after that point. Yeah, the emulator does not enjoy this track. Uh-oh. Managed to save it right there, at least. On the NOS. Just try to pull away as much as I can. NOS is like 100% cheating in this game, but they added it, and I'm going to use it. Oh, shit. Still can't control this thing. Oh, fuck. Kind of why I wanted to get a huge lead right off the bat, because I know I was going to fuck up somewhere. As always. Look at that gap. Damn. Damn. Guessing eight seconds. That yep. pretty close. Probably didn't even need the NOS for this. Also for the fact that it was a standing start, not a rolling start. Didn't have to make up so much ground. I don't have a good feeling about this. And rightfully so. Because I kind of figured that was going to happen. <laughs> also, wheel spin galore with this open diff. It's kind of a cool little feature, actually. One wheel peels and shit. An LSD on this thing might do a huge difference. Or make a huge difference do a huge difference. What the fuck am I saying? That's where I got loose last time. Pretty good this time. Back on the NOS, because why not? I have it. Use it. And this should be a pretty easy win. Even though I do have less A-spec points in this race. Up to nine seconds in front of the lead, or second place, not the lead, I'm the lead. Also, 
Yeah, I also destroyed my car on the wall. And smack. Oh, shit. All right, final section. Uh-oh. Wall. Uh... Well, that's one way to finish. Yeah, failure. Of course, the speedster made its way to the, f well, second place. I almost said front of the field again. By a considerable amount. Damn. So, yep. 3,000 more creds once again, and we will move on to the third and final race. All right, moving on to race number three at Infineon Raceway Sports Car Course. Oh, boy. Not only do we have a Lotus Elise starting out front, we also have an Opal Speedster on here, and it's a rolling start. All right, once again, we have to go back to the Mazda dealer, because this thing needs even more upgrades. Yeah. Shit happens. So, I don't even know about the different types of these LSDs. But, I'll just go with this one, because fuck it. Now, what else can I do to this thing? Uh, how much would an exhaust help? 188. What? Eight? One horsepower difference? What the fuck? Okay. Throw an exhaust and a, a chip on, I guess. And that should be enough. After this, I'm just going to have to learn how to control the goddamn car. But I think that LSD is going to help out a ton. Because, like, of the all the one-wheel peels and shit. So, let's try this once again. Attempt number four! Fuck! I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me these past few days, but I've just been driving like absolute shit. There's nothing wrong with the car now. I mean, with the LSD, it's driving perfectly fine. But now, I think I need some fucking Adderall or some shit so I can fucking drive better. Because holy shit. Keep touching the grass and just go... Like, if I was on a controller, I could probably save it a lot of the time. But it's a lot harder to recover with a wheel. I don't know if it's the game or if it's just the way it actually is. Because I'm still new to, like, using a wheel on a racing sim. And I've never spun out my FRS in real life, so... Kind of haven't learned how to handle that. So yeah, as long as I don't fuck up, this should be relatively easy. Going three wide right here. I like how there's a lot of runoff room right there. Although using too much of it will slow you down time-wise. Shit, I think I rotated too early right there. But this time I actually kept it on the track. So, sick. Unnecessary downshift once again. And I got a substantial lead for now. I guess it's going to be four seconds after I cross the line. Yep, just about four seconds. Solid guess. Handled that beautifully. This section is a little tricky in some cars, mainly because of this turn. It's blind, and it's a lot 
Okay, almost lost it there, but the LSD is actually helping out a lot in keeping this thing under control. And yes, by LSD, I mean limited slip differential. In case some of you were probably thinking, oh, why is he talking about acid? He gave the car acid? What the fuck? I didn't know what a differential was when I was 14, so fuck it. Continuing to pull away. Let's see if I can actually take this section better this time. Off the throttle. Nope. Yep. Yeah, I touched the cones. That would have been a fail in the license tests. Let's see if I can take this turn faster. Because I always take this turn way too slow. Downshifted. Uh, why do I keep doing that? This suggested gear indicator thing is like extremely annoying i really want to get rid of it but i also don't want to get rid of the rest of the stuff on the on the hud so that's kind of kind of shitty across the line i guess it's gonna be seven seconds in front of leader second place i keep saying leader fuck me there you go seven seconds a little over seven and a half but fuck it and there we go Final race complete. Collect our last 3,000 creds and our prize car. And our prize car for the Spider and Roadster event. Chrysler Prowler. Ooh. Hello, sexy. Nice color, too. However, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think this is a production car in this game. Even though it is in real life. Or it's like considered a special car or some shit. I don't know. But, fuck yeah. So, uh, that leaves us with one more beginner event remaining. Which is three sport truck races. And I believe it's on El Capitan, Fuji, and Seattle. I think. Could be wrong. But, uh... Yeah, so stay tuned for the next episode where we tackle that. And yeah, shit. <laughs>